following the following has been paid for by D Rip. We start the project with a piece of veg tan leather. Most leather crafters use 3mm as a rule of thumb, but it can vary anywhere from 2.5mm to 3.5mm depending on what the person prefers. I then use a pre-cut template made from cardboard to mark out where the main plate will sit on the leather. I find a black pen is the best option for marking around the template. It is important that the template doesn't move when drawing around the edge. Once the template has been marked, I use a straight edge which I line up on the top and bottom markings of the template. Once the straight edge is lined up, I draw lines from left to right. These will be the sides of the strap. Using a long straight edge ensures that the male and female sides will be 100% level. I use a small rag to put under the leather. This mimics the curve of the main plate. Now that the markings for the main plate and 50% of the male and female size of the leather are set out, I can now introduce the main plate of the project. The main plate is then lined up by eye to the markings already made on the leather. Once I'm happy with the positioning, I press down on the plate. This will make the bolts make an impression on the face of the leather. I draw over the markings left with a pen. This makes it easier to see when I punch the holes out of the leather. The holes are then punched out with a mallet and hole punch. Once the holes are made, I install the main plate to the leather. Once fixed, I can introduce the side plates. With the main plate being fixed, it's easier to measure up the distances between the main plate and the side plates. The side plates are put into position and measured up to ensure that they are straight. Once I'm happy with them, I press down on the side plate to again make a marking on the face of the leather. The holes are punched out and the side plates are put into position. The next set of side plates are then brought in and the process is repeated. We then move on to marking out the male and female snap boxes. I leave the side plates on the leather. I do this so the distance is identical where the strap reduces down in size towards the snap boxes. Once both sides are marked up, I bring in my trusted straight edge. This again ensures that the lines are 100% straight to the left and right. This episode is sponsored by the Beltmasters Wrestling Belt Collectors Group on Facebook. Now those lines have been marked, I can now cut the shape out of the strap and the belt begins to take shape.
Now I find the centre point of the strap and work out the overall length the belt will be. Most belts measure between 52 to 56 inches. Once the length of the strap has been determined, I use a set square to ensure the ends are 90 degrees. The male and female ends of the leather are then cased with water in preparation for the press plates to make the tooling impressions on the face of the leather. The press plates are made of 5mm CNC brass. The machine used is a clicker press. I place the plate down on the wet leather and insert them under the press. A handle is then lowered which applies 2 tons of pressure. You have to get this right first time or you mess up your whole project. Here you see the end result of the press. The whole process is then repeated for the male snap box. Here you see the end result of the male press. Once the press plate work has been completed, I will then cut out the remainder of the strap. Now I begin to make the markings for where the impressions will be tooled onto the strap. Designs are made on the leather with a pencil. Any mistakes can then be rubbed out and redrawn. Now I will wet all the leather as it is now time to make the edge markings with my edge creasing tool. The designs made earlier with a pencil, I now go over them with a swivel knife. A swivel knife has a sharp blade and once pressed against the leather it will cut into the leather surface. Depth depends on the pressure applied. That is the end of part 1 of Title Line Belt 101. Please check out part 2. Please like and subscribe to the channel for more tutorial videos, belt reviews and more.